everyone welcome back to my channel this is eve otieno youtube channel and in case it's your first time seeing my face welcome to my family and today i'm going to show you how to cook soft mandazis at home there is no need of buying mandazis if you have all the ingredients in your own kitchen so i'll just share with you uh what you need to do and the ingredients so that is going to allow you to make such mandazis so as you can see i've just completed uh, making mandazis these are for breakfast and uh, there are so many we cannot even finish them today but i hope you are going to love the recipe so welcome and stay with us like and subscribe to my channel yeah so these are the ingredients that i'm going to use um i have a uh, a bowl a bowl of flour here and uh, three eggs instant yeast i'm going to use this one um instant yeast we have blue band sugar and also milk so i'm just going to start by adding the uh blue band then mix it together then later i'll add eggs and you will be following along on how the process continues so stay tuned and like, share the videos, guys. Then I'll add some sugar. So don't use a lot of sugar. Yeah, just three spoonful is enough because I don't want to use a lot of it. Then uh, you add the quantity that pleases you. So we are just going to mix all this together. Yeah. I prefer mixing uh, the, uh, the, the flour with the margarine before adding milk. This just allow me to uh, mix it uh, well with the margarine or with the blue. And I'll just add I'll add some yeast. This is what I'm using, instant yeast. just a spoonful of yeast and remember guys it's instant so after making everything uh, mixing everything it should be able to allow the flour to rise yeah I also have baking powder here so I'm because I've used the yeast I'm just going to use a little bit of baking powder Add a spoonful of baking powder. You know it, it, it it's going to help with the rising of the dough. Yeah, so I don't add salt when cooking mandazi because I just like having that sweet taste of sugar. And you see, like uh, from the mandazis, I didn't add so much sugar. I think I feel that is enough for it. Yeah, so I'm also going to now, the second ingredient I'm going to add is um, eggs. I've mixed it properly. So I'm just going to add it. It's not a must you have to use eggs. If you are allergic to it or if you don't like it, it's okay. Then I'll mix it. 
you can you just use water yeah if you don't like eggs you can just use margarine uh, or just come in with sugar and water you will still have uh, the same taste yeah, so make sure you mix it properly everything is mixed in well you can see from uh, the video so this is how it should look like uh, so i'm going to um, add milk and then just uh, mix in the dough i have a warm milk here that is what i'm going to use but if you are allergic to milk as well remember you have an option of using water so don't be worried this is going to give you um, very soft and yummy mandazis if you want to make this for breakfast if you want to make this for your family to enjoy over the weekend you can do so yeah so if the milk will not be enough i'll just add a little warm water Let's see the dough is coming along uh, cooking vegetable I'm just going to add a bit to help me uh, sort everything come together this is the consistency I was looking for and now with this we are going to have uh, easy time with making these mandazis it's not a lot of work like someone might say it is like uh, I feel like making mandazis are way easier than making chapatis, but I love doing both of them. <laughs> but this one is good because you are not going to be rolling the dough after this, like you do to with the chapatis to come up with the layers, you know? Like the dough is nicely mixed up and uh, this is what I want to use. So after doing this, I'm just going to leave my dough. I'm going to cover it with a polythene or you can cover it with anything else. I know it's instant, but I just want it to cool down a little bit so that it softens up. Then uh, I'll come in and start the process. So with that, I'm going to cover it with a clean towel, then allow it to sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back to prepare it. You should just add enough and uh, make sure that uh, you control the you control the heat. Yeah, so my dough is here and um, it has softened in. I'm just going to, you see like how it looks like, I'm just going to mix it a bit to make sure that it's nice and because now you know like uh, when the yeast is uh, acting on the dough, uh, it will leave some pores. So I just want to mix it again to make sure that the pores are uh, not there. So after that, I'm just uh, I'm making sure that my counter is clean where i'm working on is very very clean and um, make sure you control the fire or you control the heat yeah i'm using the lowest at, uh because when i'll be adding my mandazis i don't want them to burn So my working surface is clean, I've just wiped it. You, you are rolling the dough, just make sure that they are not very thin and they are not very uh, 
big as well. So you can cut it the way you want. If you feel this is this shape is good for you, uh, you can cut them the way you want. But I feel this that is very small. I don't know. Let's see how it will come out. To test with a very small one to see if yeah you see the oil is ready and because I don't want my mandazis to uh, to get ready from the outside and not inside so I'm going to really control the uh, heat put it at the lowest point because the oil is very hot at this point as you can see yeah, so I'm just going to dip my mandazis. start turning them now for you to know if your, your mandazis are ready you can use a knife like this to see if your mandazis are ready uh, if it remains with some sticky substance here it will show that they are not ready and you are not supposed to remove them like mine are ready you can see uh, nothing is coming out of the mandazis yeah so I'm just going to remove them one by one make sure they are golden brown the way we like it golden brown mandazis golden and yummy just spreading the serviette because it's going to help me absorb the left oil on mandazis you see how they look like very nice yeah let, let me just use this to save time it's also helping me to remove them These are the mandazis. See the outcome? Yes. Yeah, so those are the mandazis you can see. Very brown and uh, very yummy. Yeah. So you can see like This is how it looks like. Let me have a bite. Hmm. Hmm. Trust me, it's very good. And I know your people are going to like it. So let's finish the remaining ones. And I'll, I'll show you how much we've made. It's a very, very good mandazis. Uh, it's not very sugary because I just use three tablespoonful of sugar. And um, it's really nice. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You can see from here. It's not just me talking. You can just see.